So for this, let me open the previous project which we have used that is LinkCAD. So let me open this project. And here you can notice we already have this uh, first floor uh, drawing file or the CAD file linked here and it is already pinned so it will not move so it is already it's like lock now next let's suppose I would like to convert this floor plan and then convert it into a 3d a model so the, for the process what we can do is we can go and select let's first set up the parameters so for example this floor plan, plan is at level number one so what I would like to add it here like some of some walls and then floor and then let's suppose a small roof so for that let's set the elevation first so let me go to south view and here you can see all right so this is where the uh, file is present so this is level number one and level number two so let me rename this as to roof and then make it yes so it will change the name here now let's go to level okay level one will make it as first floor and then change it to yes now let's go to floor plan and open the first floor next what I would like to do is I can go to I first I would like to create a wall here so for that I would like to know what is the dimension of this wall now remember our CAD file is in millimeter and also our Revit file is in millimeter by default now one thing one annoying thing you will notice here is whenever my cursor moves over this linked file you see it is keep highlighting it so sometimes it is very annoying so to stop this or to close this one what you can do is you can go to modify and under select panel you can click on the drop down and then you can uncheck this select pin elements now you will see it will not highlight it all right now next let me go and measure the walls so let's go to modify align dimension and let's go and select the what uh, walls here you can see it is exactly 200 millimeter and I guess most of the walls here are 200 millimeter yeah okay so to start with the one way we can start with is we can go to architecture and then go to wall or architectural and let's suppose we want to use this basic wall generic 200 millimeter and it should be connected till the roof level now how you can start with one way is you can snap inside this link cat file and then you can see it will start snapping the center of this two edges so what we can do we can click on the first point and then we can simply start creating the wall and then we can go to view control bar and then change it to consistent color so now you can see it start creating the wall here another way we have is instead of drawing it manually what we can do is we still have to do it manually but in much more easier way that is we can go to wall and then from the draw option we will use this time the pick line option and from the location line we will use use finish face exterior so what happens when we select the exterior of this edge you can see the exterior face will come on this particular line so my entire wall thickness will be inside to this particular floor layout so let's start from here so let me go and select this edge you see one so we added one of this then we can add the second one next let's add the third one and then we have one here and similarly you can add the rest of them so let's add it near the lift let's add here so here we made a mistake so let's go and click now let's complete this void area so again I can select this edge here let me select this for the staff office now one thing you will notice here that uh, if we are using okay I guess there is a mistake or something or here maybe it is of different dimension so let's go to modify and select the it's 230 all right so what we can do is we can go and modify one wall and create another one so that let's duplicate this and make it 230 and edit this to 230 mm 
So let's go back again and then go to modify wall. And then, okay, let me close it. Architecture, wall, and then select again pick line. And I would like to use 230 mm. And then select the edge. So I guess this one is 200 only. All right. So let's go back again and select our wall, which is of 200. S select the pick line option. And then again, and then in the middle here. So once this is done, next what I would like to do is, you see we have some doors present. Now you know that whenever we add uh, doors in Revit, Revit will automatically cut that wall area and it will accommodate the door. So in that case, this walls right now, which you see, it should be totally closed. So for this, what we will do is, let me go to modify option and from our modify option we'll use this trim extend corner option so let's close this similarly let's close this one let's use this wall and here okay in this case we should not use trim extend we should use extend so select extend single element this is the boundary and this is what we want to extend it similar way we can use this extend option all right, here let's leave this part. Use the stream extend to corner. And similarly, we need to create some wall here. So let's go and I guess it is 200 millimeter. So let's use the pick line option. All right, so here we have this. Now let's close this one. So let's go to modify and then again, let's we will use it. Trim extend single element. So we have to extend it. So I will use this as the boundary and this is what I would like to extend it. In a similar way, we can try to close this one. So let, for example, you can, if you want, you can make a extend. So this is the opening. So I'll keep this as it is. And then I can use this align option and then this will get aligned to there. Next, I will close this part. So again, trim extend single element. Let's select the edge. Similar way, let's extend this up to here. Or we can use the align option. And let's trim, uh, extend this also. So let's select the boundary and then edge. Next, once it is done, okay, let's create this lift shaft. So for this, again, I'll use the wall option, pick line. All right, so once done, let me create and extend this one. Okay, so I guess we have, uh, okay, this is one wall is remaining, so it should extend here. So let me go back to modify and then again extend this. So now you can see like if we have a floor plan uh, in a CAD file, it is very much easy to create a layout in 3D. So here we can go and select wireframe to see the doors and we can go and select the align dimension option. So this is 800. So let's suppose it can be of varying size. So let's suppose uh, you want to add a door which is of 800 uh, in width. We can go to architecture and then go to door. You already know how to use this. Now here we, you don't find a specific dimension as 800. So what we can do is we can go to edit type, duplicate it, and let's make it 800 mm width. You can uh, give any other name. So let's go to the width option and let's make it 800 and then click OK. Once done, I can go and add it here. And then you can use the align option and you can adjust a bit. In a similar way, I can use create similar and then add the other, other doors. So I guess it is of different size. Let me use this 915 here in this case. And then in the similar way, I can add some, it should open here. So this is supposed to be like 800, I guess. 
okay and then another one let's add okay all of this should be 915 it can vary you can you can create your own design and I guess we added the doors here so let's add one door here and another door here and that's it now one way uh, one option uh, is remaining here is that is we need to close this one so what we can do is let's go to again modify and then extend it and let's add a door that's it and then uh, later what you can do you already know how to create a stair you can add a stair in your model you can add the furniture components using the component option and so on so let's see how it does it look like in 3d view so once it is done let's go to 3d model or the 3 default 3d view and you can see let's go to visual style and change it and you can notice our this is our cat file and then this is how we have created our 3d model using the linked file let's suppose we would like to switch off the or we would like okay for example let's suppose you would like to switch off here or you don't want to see your imported cat file so what you can do instead of deleting it you can go to visibility graphics again vg and then go to imported categories and then from here you can switch off this drawing file and then apply so you see at that moment or at that particular view this linked file or the cat file will not be visible let's switch off these levels and then go back switch off the levels also now let's go and create the floor so let's go to first floor and then simply let's go to floor option add a floor using the boundary option let's join them together and then finish so here you can see we have our floor also created now next remaining is a roof let's suppose we would like to add a flat roof so let's go to floor plan roof and then use roof by footprint option and uncheck the slope we don't want a slope here and use the boundary edges use trim extend to corner to close the loop and then finish go to 3d view and here you can see our 3d model has been very well created if you would like you can go back to section box and then you can do the sectioning and see what is inside so this is how you can use link cat file cat files using the link cat file option and create a 3d model in revit thank you very much